Lithium ion batteries, they power just about everything, including our cameras. Recently I saw a video that really caused me to take a hard look at how I store my lithium ion batteries for my camera when I'm not using them. The video that I saw had a lithium ion battery for a camera that wasn't being charged, wasn't being used, it was just loose, similar to this one, and the battery shorted out on its own, started throwing up a bunch of smoke, and you could even see like little burning embers inside the battery itself. And it really made me take a look at how I am storing my batteries when I'm not using them. So I did a lot of research and I came up with a method that I feel protects myself, my family, and my property as much as I possibly can uh, with these lithium ion batteries. Now there's nothing that is foolproof and certainly something could still happen with the methods that I'm using, but I feel like I've really minimized the risk and feel a lot better sleeping at night. Now the first thing I do after my battery is fully charged is I put the protective plastic cap that comes with all my batteries on each battery. Now this will keep the contacts of the battery from coming in contact with anything that could possibly short the battery out. Now the next step is I have this pouch from lens coat that I use in the field to hold my batteries. Holds four at a time and I've got two or three of them that I use at any given time. But I'll put that battery inside the protective pouch and what that will do is further help keep those batteries separate and contained so they don't come in contact with each other. The next step in my line of defense for protecting myself, my family, and my property from lithium ion batteries is I have a lithium ion battery protective bag. Now I've seen these used by themselves, but they're not foolproof. I've seen batteries burn through these bags. So just on their own, these bags aren't enough. But I'll put all my batteries in these protective lithium ion pouches or bags. You can get them in pouches, bags, they come in all different sizes. But this is the size that works really good for my purposes. Now the final step is I have a ammo can that I picked up on Amazon. It was less than $10, I think. And I put the bag that contains the pouch, that contains the cap, that contains the battery in the ammo can. Now, one important thing that you want to make sure you do before you use this method is you want to take the rubber seal that is in the lid of the ammo can. You want to take that out because ammo cans are designed to keep gunpowder dry. So they basically create a airproof, moisture-proof barrier with this gasket in place. And if something were to happen where one of these batteries did short out, it would basically explode because the gas coming from the battery shorting out and burning would create so much pressure that eventually the ammo can would explode. So you need to have this gasket out. It's vital that this gasket is out so you don't have a airproof or airtight container. So then once I've got everything in place, I seal up the can. Now, ideally, if you can place this someplace within a, maybe three, four, five feet of any combustible materials, that's either gonna offer you more protection. But uh, I just store these down in my basement on a uh, concrete floor, so that way there's no combustible materials that are close. And I found this is the best way that I can protect everything I care about from a lithium ion battery short circuiting and catching fire. So this is the method that I use to protect from lithium ion battery shorting out or exploding. If you have a different or better method, leave a comment down below. I'd really like to hear about it. In a future video, I'll show you how I use the same system to charge my batteries to also offer as much protection as possible while these batteries are not in use out in the field. 
If you really like this video, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And stay tuned for future videos.